Good afternoon, YouTube and Target Survivor community worldwide. Trust you all doing as well as you possibly can be. Shane Gibbs, back again for my weekly news update. Well, um, let's start today's video off with. Um, I'm just going to start the video, today's video off with a little warning. Um, and the warning goes out to the little scrote cockroach who seems to be entering my back garden of late and moving stuff around changing stuff around and doing all your stupid little pathetic <sighs> well I don't know what do you call it is it um is it an intimidation tactic is it a scare tactic <sighs> I tell you what when you grow yourself a pair and I'm talking and this guy is obviously someone who lives around in this local community let me um let me just inform you that if I ever catch you sneaking around the back garden who only knows what I'll do to you but secondly if you ever um if you ever get to the point in life where you feel that you're courageous enough to not hide like a dirty little hood rat and the cockroach of a man that you are which I'm assuming you're a man no you can't be a man because no man would do this kind of pathetic childish intimidation e type bullshit come and knock on my door come and tap on my front door and I'll teach you some valuable lessons some valuable lessons that you've yet to be taught so let that be a warning let me catch you whoever you are Mr. Cockroach Mr. Hood Rat who seems to think that you can enter the back garden area of the property that I'm living in to play your silly little games come and knock on the door and we'll have a little chat about it. <laughs> Intimidate. Intimidation? Really? I'll, I'll, I'll show you what intimidation is. I'll show you exactly what a man will do in that instance. And purely for the reason that you've definitely got no manly attributes about you, no courageous self-worth that you feel you need to creep around in the dark of night moving stuff around in the back garden so you, that you know that I would notice failed again I'm afraid it's only the second or third time that last, this has happened since I've lived here in Sheerness so there's obviously still, still some kind of um, whatever you want to call them in the local vicinity there's plenty of rented properties there's plenty of new people coming in and out of properties around where I live so I'm assuming that you must be one of those so um, feel free to knock on my door day or night and we'll have a right old chat about it how's that grub you? <laughs> don't let me catch you and I'm warning you do not let me catch you because that would be the biggest mistake you would ever would have made in your entire cockroach type life that you're living so now let that be a warning to you all right enough with uh, enough with the, the with the pleasantries let's move on to um no actually now we're going to stick with the uh, with, uh one of the topics i wanted to talk about in today's video um is scaremongering seems to be a hell of a lot of scaremongering going on within the TI community um, there seems to be a hell of a lot of scaremongery going on within Facebook world Ooh, funny that and um, and there also seems to be a lot of religious type intimidation and what I mean by religious type intimidation and scaremongery let me read you a comment from somebody who's got a channel on YouTube called the light reveals the place Right, this donut 
has left a message under a very very brave young woman young single mother's video where she placed posted a video up talking about post-traumatic stress syndrome and her experiences with um, the gang stalking program um, she's very well known to to myself she's very well known to the ti television crew and um let me just read you what this um what this delusional idiot has put under a in a comment underneath the video i'm not going to mention her name so i'll skip her name right this donut has put you will not win this battle well actually now there was a religious comment from another donut um, and I'm not, you know, I'm not going to go down the. I mean, everything, I'm sure, everybody that knows me knows my videos, knows my stance on <sighs> fanatical people, whether they be religious or alien orientated or what have you. Um, so, so this lady, um, she was, she was cooked. This other donuts. She said she's a rock with a crucifix on it, which means nothing. Uh, and this lovely young lady, a young single mother. Um, commented Neil Poir I'm not religious but thanks for the comment and then mister the light reveals the place comes out with you will not win this battle on your own a plea for a, a plea for a mere mortal only to counsel you is futile if you have been put into this program then God has chosen you to be in it if you miss the signposts and keep repeating the dismissive I am not religious but thanks for the comment you will be in this on your own and as scripture says God will then laugh at your calamities he continues at the moment you are putty in Satan's hands he is a liar an accuser and a deceiver do not let him delude you or isolate you from the very things you need absolute truth it is not about organized religion it is about accepting the Lord Jesus Christ as your savior you need to wake up look sharp and pull your bootstrings and choose the right team please reflect on these things now not only is this young lady going through the, the targeting program um, and with a had horrendous horrendous account of what she's been through over the years I know because I know her personally um, so not only is she actually dealing with that she's actually got the courage to now actually stand up on her own two feet and put out and make herself publicly known through YouTube etc etc and we've got scaremongering religious nutbags like that um, scaring her with more garbage so not only she, does she have to take the garbage from the targeted uh, from the people that are doing the targeting she's now having to actually deal with people that are commenting saying that if she don't repent she's going to be putty in satan's hands and scaremongery 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 now this has got to stop you people are not godly people um, and if you are then please keep your godly bullshit to yourself because a single mother going through this targeting program does not need any more garbage because that's all you spell is garbage I'm not saying this because I'm anti-religion I'm not saying it I'm saying this purely because I've seen it happening time and time again especially on Facebook especially through YouTube comments all of these people that are utilizing the Bible and if you don't repent you're gonna do this and you'll never be saved and blah 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 do you not think that targets go for enough do you not think a single mother that has had her life turned upside down and been forced to do stuff that she wouldn't have dreamed of doing if she was left alone don't you think that's enough without having to put that garbage in front of her so she has to read it so you're then basically trying to manipulate her mind to the point where you're trying to convert her to religion <laughs> very sad very childish not very thoughtful because if you was truly religious if you truly believed that there was some almighty being and savior up there that's going to save this this young girl and, and and her child from the targeting harassment that she's receiving if you truly believe that god was the way and god was the light and 
blurry, blurry, blur, then you wouldn't be doing that. You wouldn't be scaring with your biblical bullshit a young single mother trying to deal with and cope with everyday life as a targeted individual here in the UK. We move on to Facebook. There's a lady on Facebook and I will name her because I think people need to be made aware of her. She goes under the name, whether it's her true name or not, of Teresa Reed. Now Teresa Reed um, claims to be some advocate, some researcher, a non-targeted person that seems to have got herself involved and entwined in, in, in twi in within the targeted community, mainly on Facebook. And she put a comment out uh, the other week, I think it was last week sometime, where she basically put a two, two or three line post up on Facebook stating, if you have got wrinkles, if you've got deep wrinkles like this, then that is nanotechnology, that's a nanotechnology line that's in your body, blah, 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 blah. So I've then put a comment on there, you know, thinking that, once thinking that this woman was a little bit sensible. And, um, and, I put, and I just basically said to her, I said, Teresa, do you really think that this is the kind of information coming from a non-targeted person that a targeted individual needs to read, needs to have the information? Do you really feel that this information about their wrinkles being full of nanotechnology is going to help a targeted individual deal with and cope with their targeting that they go through on a daily basis? She then became very argumentative she then became very, um, what's the word, rebellious against me and what I was saying. Now, if you're a non-targeted person, can I please just give you a little bit of advice? If you cannot help, if you do, if you if you've got ulterior motives behind getting involved with the TI phenomena, people on Facebook, groups on Facebook, etc., etc., etc. Please do not and refrain from scaremongering. True targeted individuals do not need to have any more scaremongering going on in their lives because they have got quite enough to deal with with the real perpetrators. So effectively what you're doing is you're actually adding more trauma into the individual's mindset by claiming that wrinkles on the face are caused by nano technology so Teresa Reed, please I hope you watch this video and um, and I hope you take on board what I'm trying to say because we targeted individuals do not need any more scaremongering targeted individuals true targeted individuals do not need to be told to repent and find Jesus Christ otherwise they'll never find any peace because of their target and they will be saved. Now, if this Jesus, Jesus fellow and this God fellow was so amazingly glorious, hallelujah, why is this all happening? Why is there millions of children starving to death on a daily basis around the world? Why are people allowing pedoph pedophilia rings to infiltrate and dis destroy thousands and thousands, possibly millions of young child's lives across the globe, particularly here in the rancid island of the UK, where paedophilia seems to be probably the biggest problem, the biggest unspoken, untalked about problem that the UK public face in today's society. You know what? It's so boring. You know when you've been going when, and when you know, when you've been running through this program for so long, and you see these people come and go, and you see their comments come and go, and and they still keep coming. They just find different targets. So people like Teresa Reed and Mister, you got to find the light off YouTube. You're actually part of the problem, and not part of the solution. 
Now, if you truly wanted to be part of the solution, then please refrain from your scaremongering. Please refrain from all of your inaccurate comments and posts that you put out that you believe is true about the targeted individual program. One, if you're not a target, you've got no you've got no place to comment. Two, if you're a non-target, then why are you getting involved? Why are you scaremongering? Is it because that you're, you, you're not really wanting to help? You're basically trying to re-traumatise people with the bullshit that you're posting. So yeah, there you go. How's that grab you? Theresa Reid, behave yourself. You, you actually disgusted me with the conversation and the argument that it turned into between yourself, uh, me and uh, myself and you, you last week. Hence the reason why I took you off my friends list. I used to want to believe that you was a decent woman. Um, but now you've shown your true colours. So anybody that's on Facebook, please be aware of a trees of reed that will try and befriend you and try and give you some kind of consoling babble about wanting to help you. Um, stay well clear. She's a dangerous person to be around that spurts bullshit that she doesn't understand. Because if you're not a target, if you've never gone through this program, you can never understand it truly. So there's that one. Um, the main thing that I wanted to um, to talk to you about today was there's a uh, there's a new law that's been passed here in the UK, um, but, uh, and it was passed on the 9th of May this year, so just a few weeks back, where the British government have now made it illegal and a public order offence, what's known as a public order offence here in the UK, to actually post or repost any form of what they class as hate speech, um, negative comments about the LGBTQ is that right? um, community, um, religious hate speech, gender hate speech, any kind of hate speech any kind of detrimental comments about the government, any kind of detrimental um, comments about any authority type figure here in the UK, is now classed um, as a as an illegal law breaking offence, which does indeed carry a prison term of up to six years. So please, 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 be aware and be very, very careful, especially anybody in the UK that is posting stuff on their Facebook, posting stuff on YouTube, posting stuff on Twitter, instantly, you know, the, the usual social media ghetto. If you get caught posting any adverse comments about anything and any, basically anything and anybody or any faction, um, you will be charged with a criminal offence, namely a public order offence, and you could risk possibly being imprisoned for up to six years. This is law now in the UK. It's another control factor. It's another, <coughs> excuse me, it's another element of freedom that has slowly been taken away and eroded um, from British society. As I stated in my last video, the illusion of freedom in the UK is merely that, it's an illusion. Because now you can't even comment, you can't even have your own version of belief. You can't talk what you feel, you can't mention anything that you feel is wrong without now risking being imprisoned by the Crown, the was it CPS, the Crown Prosecution Service on behalf of our beloved German Queen. So be very, very careful. It runs from in three categories, the charging, the charging system for this new law that's been passed on the 9th of May runs in three categories. You've got a, a low, a medium and a high category offence. Now the lowest offence, I don't know roughly what they're talking about when it comes down to the lowest offence, but that carries up to a 26 week prison term. Now the top category, the high category, um, carries a prison, a potential prison 
um, term sentence of up to six years purely for posting on social media YouTube Facebook Twitter so be careful what you be careful what you post and um, keep your wits about you and double read everything do not just on a whim post stuff that you're emotionally attached to because it may get you into some serious bother with the um, with the seriously Nazi type police state that we've now got um, running rampant around the UK so be warned be very careful uh, email issues okay um, a few videos back I mentioned that a TI television team member Tesh who runs our helpline will be helping me personally with the UK survivors database and the UK survivors database for anybody that's not familiar with it is a database that I started at the end of last year where I am gathering uh, UK survivors uh, details and in turn over time we are putting t uh, target survivors in various different parts of the UK together to form local support groups it seems that a, um, a donut dickhead perpetrated in whatever you want to call them um, took it on themselves to generate an email address and start emailing I'm not quite sure where they got the email addresses from um, but they started emailing um, so as this guy says that commented on uh, one of my videos two or three videos back where somebody uh, called Tesh had contacted him asking for various information and bits and pieces now what I will say and this is backed and I've spoke to um, to Tesh about it we've ex we've discussed it we've explained I explained to him exactly what's gone on and he was and he was mortified um, if you receive an email from anybody claiming to be part of TI television um, then it will have my name on it it will have my email address at shanegibbs212 at gmail.com um, whether it's from Tesh he will CC, CC me in on all of the email communications so if you receive an email that doesn't have me as a CC on the address on the address um, of said email then it's not from us but would I um, what I would like if possible if anybody does receive such an email um, as I stated to this guy in his comment please can you forward me the email so I can then look into it and investigate further and see whether we can put any uh, put anything together to find out exactly where this emails come from so once again if it's not come from um, if, it, if I'm not my name name or my name my email address is not within said email from said person namely Tesh from Tug from uh, TI television then you are being um, you're being perked it's not us um, and uh, we've got our own idea as to who's doing it um, we've got our own ideas as to why they're doing it um, but at this stage um, we are purely in the investigatory type scenario situation where we need to get a little bit more information to uh, to finally put some uh, put the pieces together and discover exactly where this is coming from so if anybody does receive an email to um, of, of what I've just described then please please forward me a copy of that email through to Shane Gibbs 212 at gmail.com and I will not only respond but I'll also look into finding out and um, hopefully trying to discover what all this crazy stupid infiltration is all about um, basically it's just stinks of personally this is my own opinion I think it's coming from egotistic dickhead driven people that claim to be helping the targeted individual community but I'll leave that one there because I'm not going to start chucking accusations around and pointing fingers when I've got no evidence to do so at this stage so watch this space when it comes down to the UK targeted survivor database um, it seems to be um, I've had several um, new contacts come through um, in the past since my last video and um, and I believe today so far um, since the since the formation of the, the database and TI television to date we've actually now connected and are in communication direct communication with probably around 70 or 80 people here around here in the UK 
at 70 or 80 people that were fighting this alone that have now got some form of support whether it be on the phone whether it be in person whether it be via direct email communication um, through the work that myself have done and the work that we've done at TI Television which is great what we need come together form a community So once again, if you do re receive an email from anybody pretending or, or uh, claiming to be from TI Television and, and uh, my name's not on it, possibly Kieran's name's not on it, Kieran get, doesn't get involved with the UK um, database, so it'll be predominantly my name and my email address that will be and should be on all email communications that were sent directly through from Tesh, also another TI Television team member. So the UK database is working. We're finally, slowly, it's taken time, but we are slowly forming small little pockets of linked up targeted survivors over and across the UK. And that will only continue. We're not gonna leave off. I mean, I've been working all week up on a roof, doing some, um, doing some manual labor. A yeah, bit of a uh, bit of a culture shock, really. You know, going from um, going from once a very very financially rewarding business that I built for myself in the corporate sector to now working manual labour, running up and down ladders with packs of tiles and buckets of cement on my shoulder. Survival, adapt and overcome. It's the main one of the main and most important things that a target survivor must take on board. You have to adapt and overcome anything and everything that these pathetic parasitic little cockroaches decide to put in, in front of you on within your daily routine. Whatever they do, you must adapt and overcome to move forward. Part of that adapting and overcoming would be to be connected with other targeted survivors, um, mainly, I'm talking about mainly here in the UK, um, and the only way you're going to do that is by emailing me your details so I can input them onto the UK survivors database so we can then start linking you up with other target survivors that are in roughly your same vicinity. So once again, if you want to be placed into the TI Television UK survivors database, then please feel free to reach out and email me direct on Shane Gibbs 212 at gmail.com I hope you guys and girls out there are doing as best as you possibly can I know how tough this program can be I've had um, several people that uh, over the past uh, few weeks or so um, that have contacted me and, uh, and have asked me the question that, um, that I really haven't got the answer for as to why <coughs> why am I not getting the harassment that I was receiving in Ashwood? Why am I not getting the gang stalking? Why am I not not getting the um, the drugging and the poisoning? And because I've learnt, I've adapted, and I've overcome. Use due diligence in everything that you do on a daily basis. Learn how the system works. Learn how these absolutely pathetic cockroaches are, are ordered to work because let's remember I mean these people don't work alone they've not got the intelligence they've not got the capacity as a human being to be able to work on their own they've not got the capacity and the humanity within them to actually understand that what they're doing is so tr is so dr drastically and disgustingly wrong to so many people here in the UK. Hence the reason why they're part of a gang. Gang, googly, googly, googly gang. With a handler that tells them or holds their little strings and tells them to do what they need to do. And like the dickhead who jumps over the fence or jumps over the back wall and starts moving stuff around in the back garden. It's not because he's thought about doing it himself, it's because he's been ordered to do it. Now let's talk to fat handlers 
that um, that cockroach is handler. Can you order your cockroach to come and knock on my door, grow a pair, man up a little bit, and come and knock on my door and speak to me like a man? No. You know why? Because there's not one real man in your network. Not one ounce of humanity or courage within your network. You are all pond scum. You are scum of the earth. You will be judged. One day you will be judged for what you do and what you are doing to so many people here in the UK. Take that as a minute. So that just about so it's a little bit of a mix and match today. You know, there was a few other bits and pieces that I wanted to talk to, you know, um, the video's a little bit late this week purely because of the uh, the um, the manual labour that I've been completing over the past uh, the past week or so. But um, needs must, bills need to be paid, rent needs to be paid. So TI, so target survivors, stay strong, stay defined. That just about sums up today's video. Um, we've got some big things coming up in the very near future. Um, I'm hoping that a lot of you have taken the time to listen to Kieran's uh, interview that he gave a couple of weeks back on the Ella Free Show. Um, we've got some other quite exciting and interesting um, things coming up. Uh, I won't talk about them today, but I'm sure you'll be made aware. Sure you'll be, excuse me, sure you'll be made aware of them um, when the time's right. So until my next video, stay strong. And once again, UK Survivors Database, if you want to go onto the, the Survivors Database, please email me direct, shanegibbs212 at gmail.com. And we'll, uh, we'll get working on trying to link you up with other target survivors in your local community. That just about sums up today's video. Now, um... I'm off down the gym, going to uh, have a bit of a workout, got to go up town, got to pay a few bills, got to do this, got to do that, blah 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 blah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, before, before I finish, the questions as to why I'm not targeted the way I was in Ashfield, why I'm not, I don't know, hit with the, what I was getting hit with, I don't know. I honestly don't know. But luckily for everybody um, here in the UK, and the only reason that I started doing these videos and um, became involved with the whole TI television concept initially is because I am strong enough, I am intelligent enough, I am brave enough, I'm courageous enough. I'm now strong enough mentally and physically to be able to stand up and talk on behalf of the targeted individual community here in the UK. And luckily for me, I don't get all of the horrendous treatment that I used to back in Ashford. I would know how to deal with it a lot better than what I um, what I initially did back then. And maybe that's the reason why they don't bother. Who knows? I don't know. I haven't got the answer to that question. So um, anybody that feels the need to ask me that, there's there's the uh, there's the answer. So target survivors. I trust you all are doing as well as you possibly can be. You must remain strong. You must remain defiant. You must start reaching out, not, if not to us, to other people that are going through the same thing. Beware of the non-targeted people, the scaremongers that seem to be running rampant around YouTube and Facebook. Do not take on board what they say. I mean, you've got enough to deal with without taking on that garbage that these people seem to spout on a regular basis with no, I mean they don't know, targeting, targeted individuals, targeted survivors don't even know. So how, how, is, a, how is a non targeted person going to know anything apart from stuff that they learn or read? So be careful, stay strong, stay defined. And until my next video, keep peeled. Tomorrow's always a new day, people. Never give in. So until next time, take care of yourself, take care of everyone and everything around you that you love and hold dear. And I'll see you again real soon. So take care. Bye for now.